Anyway, if you're enjoying yourself and look forward to joining sessions like this one more often, I want for you guys to notice all these balloons that we have right here. We have cards attached to that. So we want for you to write down any suggestions that you guys have so we can implement another beautiful session like this one in Rio 2019 for the second That's It session. And now, for the second tip and trick, here's is Dr. Saraya. Thank you. Please welcome. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings from India. I'm honored to present before you a tip to remove a distoangularly impacted third molar. Um, traditionally, we've been taught that distoangular impacted teeth are the most difficult tooth to extract. And it is so engraved in our mind that even the difficulty index goes it so, and the impossible distal point of application, which we never use, and various problems with visibility if the tooth fractures. So whenever I get a call for a distoangularly impacted tooth, it's butterflies in my stomach go after 10 years. And once we were discussing all these things with a colleague of mine in our group, we just shared each, other, each other's difficulties and complications. One guy said he never had any problem with distoangular. He told me he can do that in, in one minute flat. And so he told me this idea. What he does is he uses a European pattern cowhorn forceps, and he wedges this between second and third molar teeth. And we thought it would never come, and with a with lot of thoughts, we once tried it, and it did happen. And once that happened, I just uh, checked on to the, uh, the process, how it happens. What it basically does is it engages the mesial and distal embrasure, I'm sorry, the buccal and the lingual embrasure of the seven and eight, and as it gets engaged, you can find the tooth just slipping behind. It just pops, and it's back. And this is what happens. The cogon engages between the embrasures, buccal and lingual. It's like, at the same time, you use two elevators. OK? And the tooth is out in a minute. So this is what happens. Of course, I don't do it very blindly. I do consider the root pattern of second, because I don't want the second to pop off before the third. And I usually resort to buckle guttering and distal slicing before I use it. Ladies and gentlemen, in Tamil, in the language that I fought, this is my mother tongue, santosh means happiness. And I want to call this uh, santosh technique because it makes removing distally impacted third molar much merrier. And that is Dr. Santosh for you. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Azaria, for this very handy trick. Thanks. Now, as Syrians, our hands are one of the most important instruments that we have. Talking of our hands, have you ever really paid attention to your hands? Our next Dustin speaker has a very personal view of the power of our hands. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Dr. Goslar Reddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are all here to achieve, to deliver, to perform with these beautiful hands as one of the fantastic tricks given by a colleague. Yes, it needs good hands to do that. Now, normally when I give this talk, Stefan always makes sure that I have a couple of my few drinks. Unfortunately, not today. But to achieve these things, what we need is a real fist. Yes, it's like the fist of Bruce Lee. Now, what is this hand? What does it dictate to us in our life? This is very important that we need to understand. We need to implement these things in our daily life. It has a correlation.
for the economics, the performance, and to everything what we achieve in our daily life. The hand is made up of fingers, the palm, and the wrist. The key of all these fingers is the thumb. Thumb is the strongest, the shortest, which can mold, hold all your palm itself, the fist itself with the power. Now, what is this finger? I would call it as the seat or the center of academical excellency. Now, what is this academics? Is it that I'm a professor, I'm a director, I'm a chief, I'm a dean of a dental school or medical school, I have multiple fellowship degrees, you know, all these FFs everywhere, and then the PhDs, the publications. Does it make you to be the academical excellence? No. It's, is it that I have so many fellows who comes and works under me, so many residents who comes and works under me? Is it the fellowships that we offer? Does it make us to be more stronger? I don't think so. It's mentorship. The more number of people you start mentoring, what you call as creating your own clan or your own religion of your ideologies, of your principles, what you acquired makes you more stronger. These things need to be passed upon to our future generation, to our youngsters as mentorship. The more people you're able to mentor and make them follow behind you, and tomorrow it is these youngsters which take forward our profession even more stronger. They again re -manitor. This is what we need to create and not acquiring these fancy degrees and PhDs. This is the strength of the thumb. Now, we have this finger. We need to dictate. We need to tell people that this is what I do. This is what I can perform. But you need to understand when you point this finger, it is these other fingers are the one which is Showing you means say that I get people together. I form my team. I invite people towards me. It's not about dictating, but it is about attracting. Attracting people to be with you, to work with you as a team. Now, what does this team provide you? It gives you an institutional thinking, an institutional approach. Now, what is this institution? Is An umbrella? where we all work underneath together. Now, working togetherness means we need to call learn an art called negotiating. Negotiating ourselves to work in the team. It's called give and take and make it happen. Now, this umbrella can be your own umbrella as you do it in your private practice, or it could be in an institutional umbrella where you work under someone else's umbrella. It has its own advantages and disadvantages. The key here is trying to learn the art of negotiation. This is what it teaches, and we need to master it. Yes, as I said, this has a correlation for economics of what we generate the revenue or what we take home money back home. The thumb, as being the seat of academic excellence, may not generate a lot of money to take home, but it gives you a lot of strength and power. Whereas this finger, Yes, it gives you some econ economics where we can take home the money, but you need to understand being in the team, it is a share, and you're always sustainable. Even you fall sick, you fracture your hand, you cannot perform, you can rely on your colleagues to take over your work and perform, and at the end of the month, you're generating the same revenue. So this is what I would say. Be work as a team. Yes. I'm sorry, no? This is what we call as creating ourselves a unique identity. The way we dress, the way we project ourselves, the way we move ourselves, the way we call I'm unique. I'm unique in this. This is what the people want me for. They want me to feel my hand because I have some special powers in my hand where I can deliver something different in uniqueness. Now, this uniqueness can create you wonders, can take you around everywhere, generate a lot of revenue, a lot of revenue. When you see in these fingers, it is a str the tallest, but it's the weakest. It's a very weak finger. You need to understand this. And next, 
is this finger. It really doesn't fit into your everywhere, but it has its own strength because it's called as a revenue generating finger of what you call, we need to generate revenue. It's whatever we do in our life, whatever we want to achieve in our life, at the end, it's what our wife asks, what did you get back home? The children ask, what did you get me for me? So we need to make sure we need to save. Save not for us, but for the family, for the children, for the future society to go forward. So we need to generate revenues for sustainability. The little finger. Yes, this is a small, little light. You like to hold people around, walk around with them together. Little finger, like you know how you take the people around. This is called networking. We need to network. We need to go around with people with love and affection. Now this can generate a lot through innovations, ideas, trips, tricks, what we can share and make it happen to other people, a comfortable life. And this can generate a lots and lots of revenue too. Yes, all these fingers are here to count your money. This is what we do. But the key for you to win over things is your palm. The depth of the palm signifies saying that the trust and the communication you can create a person to believe in you, the trust, the integrity, is the key for you to make your other person to win over. So this is something more important we need to have in our palm. Now we have these five fingers, a beautiful integrity and trust, which we can win with the communication to other person. But what we need to really believe is the rest, is the destiny. Now what is this destiny? Is it written? Is it given? Is it followed? Yes, it is given. It is given means what you give comes back to you. So this is what I would say is the strength and the power of your hand. So give, you get it. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dr. Thank you very much. Thank you for a great talk. Thank you, Dr. Make Ray, you, for such uh, a handy, uh, handy lecture and yes. handy conference. <laughs> Appreciate it. And you're going to get a book from, from Liana now? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, now we're ready for our third tip and trick. Please welcome to the stage Dr. Martin Granizo from Spain. Thank you. Thank you all. I don't want the prize. My prize is being here with you, sharing all my ideas. So please give the prize to the people from Israel. OK. Anyway, um, please, how many of you like football? Would you raise your hands up, please? Oh, that's great. How many of you know what is serostomia? <laughs> Very few. OK, I'll tell you what is serostomia. Serostomia is also named dry mouth. I'll show you an example in myself. You know, already I'm a big fan of Real Madrid. Real Madrid, I'm sorry for the people from Barcelona that they are here. But you know, for example, Javier González Laguna, he went away. And um, you all know that he's the best team in the world and in the history of football. <laughs> we have won championship, um, champion league 11 times. So I tell you what happened a couple of years ago. We were playing our 10th final in Lisbon against Real Atletico, Real Madrid, Atletico de Madrid. And it was the, the, the match was over. There were only three, um, three more minutes. So it close to end. I was really my mouth was really like Sahara Desert. Can you imagine? I was so stuck there. And then it happened this. The penalty! The remote is Cabeza, 
inapelable en el cielo lisboeta, en el cielo de Lusitania, para hacer posible el sueño de la décima. Sí, señor. El Madrid, la historia vuelve a la cara del Atlético. Ahí está la Copa de Europa, campeón el Real Madrid, la décima Copa de Europa. Do you know what happened in that moment? It was like a cataract in my mouth. I start with a, a huge amount of saliva. It was a well benefit. So you know right now that anxiety is one of the causes of acherostomia. But there are many others, for example, radiotherapy, Jogren syndrome, and some other in connection of different drugs. For example, some drugs about a, um, cardiogenic and so on. So it's a big disease that means a lot of population in the world. So we must do anything for this disease. So we thought about something permanent. So we name it IntelliTooth or, or Smart Tooth. Let's see, I try to, to show you what, what is this, the concept. The concept is very old. Electrostimulation increases the production of saliva. As you see here, this was already tested uh, no pointer, okay. In the left side up, you see uh, the French uh, Guillaume Duchenne in 19th century. It was experimenting with activating the, the facial nerve, as you can see there in the patient. And also the physician, um, German physician Karl Ludwig, made some experiments in dogs, uh, uh, noting an increase in saliva during stimulation of the uh, nerves. So it works this well. There's electrostimulation of the lingual nerve, as you can see there. This can produce in two ways saliva. Directly influences against um, sublingual and submaxillary production of saliva. And also it goes a reflex to the central nervous system. And through the um, trigeminal nerve, there is a receipt, again, to increase the salivation in the major salivary glands and in small glands. So, what we do do? I'll show you the past, the present, and the future. The past was this device. This device was an electrostimulating device, miniaturized, that we place it on a standard uh, custom-made splint of acrylic. As you can see, you can activate it. The patient put on the, the mouth and remove it, and then he switch it off. It really worked. But we have something new right now. This is the Sally pen. We said pencil for saliva. This is something different. You can put it in your pocket, as you can see here. May I have a focus here, please? And you can uh, open it. And when you open it, you here has the uh, device. You can activate it, put it in your mouth, up to 10 minutes every hour, and you will increase the saliva. But also, we were looking for something permanent. This is what we thought, the smart tooth. It's self-contained unit, as you can see here. It has some electrodes, some wetness sensors. I'll show you. It stimulates the lingual nerve and the buccal nerve and increases the production of saliva, producing a moisture inside the mouth. So what we did for this purpose, we developed this device. You can see it's mounting on a standard implant. It has electrodes is some wet, wetness sensor, so automatically detects what is the wetness inside the mouth, activates and generates some saliva. Here you can see how you put it in a standard way in the thermal area. You wait a couple of months, then you screw it, and this is the aspect it has in the mouth. And even, as you can see here also in the Panorex, you can chew with it. So it's a new instrument also for chewing. You see here both comparing. The right side is brand new, crown, and the left side is after three months. This is epoxy resin, very hard. So I finally tell you that this is a new thing that combines some development and uh, new technologies with the standard oral maxillofacial diseases. So let me final, finally show you and give thanks to all my department. You can see in the left side 
the right side in my family, as you can see, so many people on both sides. <laughs> that is all my, <laughs> is my wife and all my kids there. Another one again. So thank you very much for your kind attention. Yes. Thank you very much, Dr. Granito. Thank you, Martin.